the Jehovah's Witnesses have a real problem with uh, how they respond to claims of childhood sexual abuse, especially claims against an elder or a ministerial servant. Um, according to the policies of the Jehovah's Witnesses, once a complaint is made known to an elder, that elder then has to engage uh, two other elders to conduct a so-called investigation. If there is an admission by the perpetrator or two eyewitnesses to the abuse, then a judicial committee will be formed and uh, action will be taken. Either uh, that perpetrator will be reproved if they're sufficiently repentant or they will be disfellowshipped. Well, the real problem with that is that rarely do you have two eyewitnesses to the abuse of a child, and certainly it's even more rare for a perpetrator to admit to it. So the policy is flawed to begin with. Um, what you should do if you were a victim of, of abuse by a Jehovah's Witness elder is go to law enforcement. Yes, the elders will do everything to convince you not to, that you will uh, even perhaps get a call from the service committee, someone from the service committee or the legal department of the watchtower to convince you not to, uh, but you need to go to law enforcement. Only law enforcement can conduct a proper investigation and get counseling, get help.